What's going on guys? Matt here from Become Elite and Two Minute Tuesdays are back. So today's topic of discussion is speed of play. Now in my opinion, speed of play is one of the biggest differences that you'll notice as you progress up to higher levels. Professionals only have milliseconds to make this decision versus a few seconds at the amateur level. You must constantly be thinking two or even three steps ahead of the game in order to keep up at this pace. So how do you improve speed of play? Well, let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. I believe that you should break down speed of play into three different aspects, mental, technical, and exposure. Mentally, you need to do two different things. The first is you need to make that active switch in your head that you're gonna play faster, you're gonna take less touches, and you're gonna spend less time on the ball, even if sometimes it's not necessarily required. At the pro level, we call this playing with urgency. You're not playing rushed, but you're urgent. This is drilled into us during training when coaches are yelling out to play sharper, to play faster, to get the ball moving, to stop sitting on it. Move it quick! The next step is you really need to focus on mentally preparing and anticipating where the ball should go next or where you should go next. The typical amateur receives the ball, then looks up to decide if they should dribble, pass, shoot, where they should go next. Professionals look up and anticipate what's happening on their side of the field or in their area, where they could possibly pass the ball, where their teammates are going before they even receive the ball. A lot of times as a right back, I'll start to see the ball swinging over from the center back to the other center back. I'm anticipating the ball is gonna come to me. So before it does, I'm looking at the field to see what my right mate or my forward is doing. I'm looking at how tight my defender is towards me or if he's giving me space. I then look back to my center back as that ball's coming into me and I already know if I could take a touch down the line, if I have to take a touch in the middle, if that touch has to be close to my feet because I know what's up. I'm observing, I'm anticipating, and I'm preparing. Now you might be able to anticipate and prepare but you won't be able to really act on it if your technical skills aren't sharp. This is the second thing you really need to focus on if you want to improve your speed of play and that's getting your touches, your passes, and your control of the ball at a very high level. If that ball's coming into you and you have to take three touches before you can really control it at your feet and then make the next play, you're killing yourself. You're adding tons of milliseconds to this time. The goal should be to receive that ball and immediately make the perfect touch for your given situation that you've already prepared for. If you could trap that ball 99 out of 100 times right at your foot, you can shave seconds off of your speed of play. Improve your technical skills through fundamental skill training and you'll notice that your speed of play really develops faster. Lastly and most importantly is really experience and exposure. It's hard to really understand how little time you really have on the ball if you don't experience that. Always be challenging your teammates to play at a faster level. Try to ingrain that you want the speed of play to pick up. Try to play in tighter spaces where you're gonna have less time on the ball and less time to make that decision before you get closed down. And if possible, try to play with the highest level of players that you can. Try to adapt to this level, then as soon as you start to feel comfortable at the speed of play, push on out of your comfort zone and grow as a player. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're happy that Two Minute Tuesdays are back, give this video a like, leave a comment below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. How'd I do on time?